All right, I'm interviewing Oliver uh, with Mini Brew. You guys are making a beer brewing appliance, and you're pouring me some beer, which I'm excited for. So the beer is in, uh, in uh, a white scent made with champagne yeast okay. and elderflower. So the champagne yeast, what it does, it makes it really dry. So it's a beer you can drink, 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 drink over. And normally a white scent has like the banana flavor, yeah. but with this elderflower, yeah, it makes it uh, really dry and um, and subtle, so you can drink more and more and more beer. So, so this is this is the mini brew system. You have the brewing uh, keg, but also it's a refrigeration unit, and there's like the system where you brew it in, right? Yeah, this is the brewing system. So this keg is normally in here. So without the the taps, uh, the taps and the CO2, and without the lid, it's connected uh, uh, through this uh, filter. And there are two pipe, uh, two two systems. This is your mess tun, and here you have like a revolver for six hop chambers or etching chambers. So it comes through an app for people who never brewed beer before, uh, and uh, this is how it works. So you can you can adjust flavors and like how dark you want it. So we created an app with an uh, ingredient supply chain behind it, uh, so people can choose based on color, on bitter, sour, and sweetness, and. Um, and then they can create a recipe or choose a beer style they'd like to brew. And once I do that, you guys will send me an ingredient pack that's yes. optimized based on that, right? Yeah, that's basically optimized on that. And if you uh, think, okay, this is something that I want to brew, or you okay, want to do something more differently, then you can choose to brew to a brew pack from a brewery, which are invited into the platform. So we ship their recipes uh, to your doorstep, so you can make like an, a clone recipe of a brewery at home. Once I brew it, this it it's, then sits in here, and actually, this is a ref, what I think is cool. It's, it's actually refrigerated. You got your refrigeration unit back there. Yeah, I so, touch the top; it's actually cold. Yeah, this is cool. So uh, this is uh, makes it possible that there's no water transport. Uh, water transport. So where beers uh, get, uh, get 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 go going wrong is when you need to transport your wort. So working clean is the most important part of beer brewing. So there's no transport of wort. So the only what you need to do is you pitch your yeast in the top of it, uh, and then you close the lid, and then you put it to the power outlet, and then you go to your app and you say start fermenting. So when you did that, uh, you get a signal through uh, because it's connected to Bluetooth, and this is connected to your app, and then you get a signal when you need to release the yeast. So here we have a keg stand. So this is on the side you have a valve. So and if you put it on the keg stand and you put the truck container in the in the bottom uh, on the below yep. it's it's not uh, it's not attached now then you open the valve and then you release things uh, uh, automatically to your truck container so uh, of course uh, that needs to be done after uh, you did a cold crash the machine exactly knows when it reaches gravity to start cold crashing uh, uh, and then you when you release the yeast uh, it goes to lagering temperature automatically and then you get a signal need to be drank and they put your tap on it and then start having a party. From the time I start brewing and putting the ingredients in to the time I have my party, what's it, what, that's a week, how long? No, so like a beer is a fermentable product, so it goes about quality. So the fastest fermentable beer is a pale ale, but still the take needs two weeks. Two weeks. Huh? Yeah. And, uh, but this beer is took, it's like we say, if you mature your beer at least for three to four weeks, then you really will taste the difference in, in the quality of beer brewing. So and I can buy this today if I live in the Netherlands and Europe. How much does this cost? We sell it for 1200 euro, including tax, and we ship it worldwide. And when you guys are eventually going to the US, right? Yes, yes. So we are preparing our US market, and uh, we will be in US by 2020. Uh, if you are uh, uh, living in Toronto or nearby, we're uh, exhibiting out on, on collision from now 20 to 23. So come visit us and uh, get all the info. And where can people find out more information about you guys? They can uh, find it on uh, www.minibrew.io. All right. Hey, thanks, Oliver. Yeah, welcome. Cheers.